Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to show you how to create your own Windows to go USB drive. That's right, the Windows to go USB drive actually allows you to set up a USB drive that has a full-blown Windows 10 install on it that you can take with you, plug into anyone's system and boot up your own computer. You can install software into it and all kinds of useful stuff. I use a Windows to go drive, especially whenever I go over to friends of mine, so that I have all my software and everything, and I'm not using their system. Now, there's a lot of different ways out there to do it. The easiest one I've found is if you have IOMI Partition Assistant Standard Edition, it's going to make this a whole hell of a lot easier for you. If you don't have it, that's fine. I'll provide a link in the description. Once you get IOMI Partition Assistant Standard downloaded and installed, I do have a video that will show you how to do that if you want to surf through my videos to find it. Once you get it started up, uh, we'll get to this point and we will get you started on actually getting your Windows 10 to go drive made. I know I have the Win 10 set up UEFI, <clears throat> UEFI USB in there right now. That's fine. I'm going to set it up as a Windows 10 to go USB drive for this particular video. It's just a waste drive anyway. I've already got my own Windows 10 drive set up on 64 gig USB drive. And then my actual Win 10 UEFI setup is on another on a different uh, higher quality 8 gig USB drive, so I'm not too worried about it. So once you get IOMI started up, come up here and click on Wizard and go to Windows to Go Creator. I know they made it super, super, super simple for you. Once you get that set, then all you have to do is click on Browse, and what you're going to look for is you're going to look for like a Windows 10 installer disk. So in this particular case, we're going to use the very same Win 10 ISO that I used for UEFI boot. And to set up a UF, UEFI USB installer drive. So once you select that, click OK. And then all you have to do is click Proceed. The USB drive capacity is too small. It should be at least 13 gig of capacity. Well, if the drive was bigger and actually capable of supporting it, it would have went ahead and went through the whole process, formatted it out. Apparently you have to have at least a 13 gig or bigger, which I would highly recommend using like a 64 gig or 128 gig. You'll go through this exact process. Once you click proceed, it'll give you the warning that it's going to erase all the data on the drive. You just click OK, and then it'll go through the process of formatting it and then copying the ISO over and actually installing the Windows partition onto the drive. And then it would go from there into actually setting up the uh, the system to boot. And then once it's all done, you can pull it out, plug it into a system, boot to that USB drive, and voila, you are on your own Windows to go system that you can install your own software and everything on and boot on your friend's systems. So that's the easiest way to do it is using IOMI Partition Assistant Standard Edition. You can also use the Professional Edition, which will allow you to do a lot of other things including convert an MBR to a GPT for use with uh, UEFI Windows systems. So the IOMI Partition Assistant Standard has a lot of uses. This information is out there for absolutely everybody. As always, watch, like, share. Have yourselves a great day.